You are here with Rozzy. Hello. <laughs> she was just on stage. That was incredible. Thank you. We were just chatting because, like, you mentioned on stage how you're wearing a corset and you were saying that was a horrible idea and you can't yeah, breathe. Can't breathe. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, so what do you sound like when you can breathe? Because it sounded like you could fucking it breathe. Really, like, with, I had the greatest time, but I was in pain. Okay. So I was like, I was Build, just like building I, new these, muscles. These are cr crazy. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah. it's cute. So. It is very cute. Yeah, <laughs> it's you. super cute. I love the olive corset vibe. Thank you. Yes. How, how do you feel after that performance? I had so much fun. It's like such a good energy. I miss rooms like this yeah so the intimate feeling of it yeah and mm -hmm. I felt so lucky to have my band they're just amazing and I just felt really lucky yeah to, to have them and it's a cool hybrid like with the intimate room and then the 12,000 people that are watching I on know. Twitch I right? mean I don't know if it's like a lie but the screen in front of me said 20,000 I don't think it's a lie yeah. girl I think if there's people out there the world is a big Hi. place there's folks tuning in from Toronto from Osaka from Denver like oh my god incredible who knows where and like folks just fall in and they have no idea that school night exists and then they're like right. oh my god I'm yes. like a fan they yeah. discover school night. Yeah. I love school and you night. as well. I love school night. Yes, yeah. hopefully. It's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of those folks, we do have some questions. Okay. Um, they're AMA questions, and they're coming through throughout the night. Okay. Folks want to know things after they've seen you live or just knowing you from before as well. And I also, as well as JMO917, was really amazed by your Alanis cover thank you yes um and for a second i was like wait i know this song yeah. it was like a little bit unexpected you know yeah, totally, I mean? totally um and you killed it thank and you. and you added your own like soulful touch at the end <laughs> i'm not even gonna try to do it but i was like yes um so the question was what other songs of hers do you cover i think that's my f no i think i i mean i'm a huge alanis fan so yeah. if we're talking karaoke <laughs> the full Catalog. <laughs> catalog. <laughs> but I think that might be my first ever official performance of a song. And it's funny, I, I was I knew I wanted to do a cover for this set, but I, I kept telling not to the band, they're like, what's our cover? What's our cover? I kept not knowing what I wanted to do. Yeah. And then it just like hit me like it, it was from the muse from above. It was wow. just like there's something about that song that's really timeless and it's it feels really appropriate when people are going through hard times. Like there's yeah. something very um uplifting about it to me. Yeah. I just love her so much. Yeah. yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. There's no one like her. Yeah. I probably, if I was doing karaoke, like, I would really want to be able to do the, you, you, yeah, I you, know, but it's hard. hard. That one's really intimidating. Beyonce <laughs> did, a, I remember she, like, mashed up one of her songs. I think she mashed up one of her songs with You Oughta Know. Yeah. And it was the most unbelievable, like, it's, that song is really intimidating to me. This one, Girl, I had in my pocket with you a little. you could sing anything. <laughs> Come Thank on. You. Okay, so another question. B Storage says, okay, seriously. Where the vocal control come from? <laughs> OMG. Uh, I mean, thank you. I, um, thank <laughs> Where you does so it much. come from? <laughs> Not the course. How did you get that? <laughs> um, I. I mean, that's so nice. Thank you. I, I'm obsessed with um, singing. Mm. I, I'm obsessed <laughs> with it. It's like my favorite thing in the world, and I'm obsessed with singers. And <laughs> I love to copy singers, and I spent a lot of my life like listening to artists and trying to just learn their performances. Who are some no, of those no, artists? Aretha Franklin, mm. Ariana Grande, Lauryn Hill. Yeah. Ray Char, I mean, the Beatle, I mean, like Fleetwood Mac. There's a million people and just different kinds of singing. Yeah. And I've spent many hours learning their, their performances mm. note for note. Because I always wanted to, I was like, if I can do what they all do, then I can choose. You know, like I wanted to be able to like, have artistic freedom yeah. in the moment. Whatever I feel like singing, I want to be able to like express it. Right. You know? Yeah. So like an idea, like the freedom of having an idea come to you and being able to execute that exactly. idea. Yeah. Exactly. That's kind of the dream as yeah. like any art yes. that you take on. Be good enough at the technique yeah. so you can be creative. Yeah, And so definitely. I think I'm just, I'm just like, I would go home from winter break, like from college and I would just learn Aretha Franklin albums. I was just, I'm just obsessed. Yeah. So I, she, I mean, thank you. She's but, got albums. Did you yes. see Amazing Grace? I actually haven't seen oh, it. Oh, you got to see that. Is it great? Yeah. It's yes, a, it, Amazing to. Grace is a documentary, Aretha Franklin. It's like this one I know, concert I kinda, that I took place. I honestly have been like avoiding it semi <laughs> subconsciously on purpose because I think I love her so much and mm. I never saw her live mm. and it's really haunts me. And so mm. I think I'm afraid to, to watch the doc and be upset. Uh, you know okay. what I mean? Which is yeah. ridiculous. I have to I get, get over that. It. You should get over yeah, it. Yeah. It's <laughs> Are there like, I, uh, so there's people that you, you study their voices. Is there anybody like, as far as how they are as performers on stage Oof. that you learn from or try to emulate or take yeah. notes from? I mean, so many people. I think I spend a lot of time wanting to be a certain kind of performer that maybe I wasn't. Like, mm. I'm, I, I love to dance, but I'm not a dancer, you know? And I think I, I'm, I, like, want to rock out, but I'm not 
or I'm, I'm, I'm not totally, that's not totally authentic for me. Mm. So I think maybe I spent a lot of time trying stuff out and then now I really feel more comfortable just letting the this the songs hopefully kind of lead the way and yeah. i want to like be and energetic but but i'm not like i'm not you know breaking down <laughs> whatever i'm not no, doing I mean, some crazy whatever your voice yeah. is leading the way so <laughs> you, don't, you, you don't have to do any other tricks or <laughs> thank you you don't have to do any james brown splits yeah exactly one day the- <laughs> <laughs> um so this is a funny one it's not an ama but einzel tv says Rosie, sister, you have brightened my Tuesday morning. God bless you. Lots of good wishes from India. Oh my God! See, Thank you so you. much. That's incredible. Thing. That yeah. is so cool. Super Thank you. incredible, right? That's yes. Awesome. Yes. And uh, the crowned clown is wondering what was the name of the second song that you June. did. June. I look at the answer is there. The answer funny. is June. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The song is called June. I wrote it. Um, nice. Not in the month of June. I wrote it. It was. It's basically. If, I mean, you heard it, but it's like a. It's like a summer love gone wrong song. Mm-hmm. I wrote it when I was dating somebody, and it started to become clear. You know that phase where you're like. Are they over me, or are they just going through something? You tell yourself all these stories, oh, like they're really yeah. busy, or they, 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 they're scared of how much they like me, and then in the end, you're like, oh no, they just hate me. That's oh. when I wrote that song. <laughs> yeah, or they just, you know, they don't know how to recognize what the goodness is in that's front of them. That's the correct yes. answer. Exactly. That's what it, is, but yes. it takes a little while to it get does, there. It does. Yes. And I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. And so hopefully they're tuned in today and they yes. realize <laughs> you don't know what you got till it's gone. Exactly. <laughs> so tomorrow. What'd you say? Give us another high note. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Th- this corset, I'm done. Jo's trying to get out. some more high notes <laughs> side stage. He's a heckler. Jo, you're a heckler. You give us a high note. Just <laughs> no, kidding. He's a positive heckler. <laughs> He's like the happiest heckler on earth. <laughs> so tomorrow is um, uh, International Women's Day, yes. March 8th, and yes. you're doing a show in New York on the day on the on the March 9th. March 9th. And yes. What's the theme of that show? It's it's International Women's Day celebration yes yes in yes. brooklyn at the knitting yes. factory on uh wednesday yeah. yes absolutely so if, you're in, if you're in new york it's gonna if you're be really in new york fun. yeah 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 <laughs> who's gonna be performing with you oh my god that's something i should know the answer to oh, okay it's fine if you don't Lots know it's really fine. badass women that's what i know badass I, I women just, um, i don't know i'm sorry is that like <laughs> uh meaningful for you to be doing something for international women's yes. day with some badass women yes like, let's I think, talk about that um like I, you heard the song i sang mad madman i wrote about the feeling of um sometimes i feel as my experience as a woman and a lot of my friends who are women anger is like not acceptable as a, mm. as a woman though you get you get mad or justifiably, you get frustrated. You could say that wasn't cool with me, and they're like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Like, yeah. calm down! Like, you're being crazy or whatever." Yeah, yeah. All those names. Yeah, yeah, and it's always really frustrated me because I'm like, it's it's a really human emotion, and like maybe you just messed up, and like I'm calling you out on it, and mm-hmm. I, I deserve to be able to do that. Mm-hmm. And that's just like one shade of the experience of being a woman. Obviously, it's you just know? like constant gaslighting. Yes, <laughs> yes, and yeah. there's there's so many examples of, uh, you know, people don't always um, take women is seriously i think maybe mm. it's because the men are in power they don't see themselves in you know they they want to find like their little me or something and there's not mm. enough women at the top to kind of help bring women up there yeah it's just harder to push through and so i guess a day to celebrate that feels uh, empowering i want to encourage as many women as possible to do amazing things so, yeah, yeah absolutely i was listening i caught the tail end of it it was like a news piece the other day and i think it was they were talking about a kid that like lives in a country where there is a woman that's president and all they've known is a woman president. Wow. So they think that it's weird if a man is president. Whoa. They think women are always, it's always a woman that's president. It's incredible. And that's it's, amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it just makes me think about how like, if nothing else, like you taking on um, a position is showing something to the younger generations of what's possible I hope so. from Thank their you. fresh minds. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I hope so. I mean, I write songs just for myself, but that, but it's always my dream for other people to feel the same way I felt or to relate to it in some way. That's yeah, the, that's the dream. I know yeah. that they are. I mean, I saw people mouthing the words oh, of your good. song, so it's got to be hidden. <laughs> um, you recently collaborated with Artie yes. on a song called Who Do You Love, right? Yes. Tell us about that. Artie's this amazing EDM artist, which is mm. a little out of my comfort zone, as you just saw. But we wrote this song together years ago with our friend Michael Jade. And I didn't... It's one of those songs I write a million songs. You don't. You never know. Some mm-hmm. songs you really think are going to go one direction and they end up going nowhere. Some, you know, whatever. This is one of those songs that I didn't... I didn't 
I loved it. But yeah. I was like, oh, we wrote a cool song. Who knows? And then it was COVID, and I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> and then literally a few months ago, they're like, Artie's putting out as a single, and he's amazing, and he's got such a cool, incredible fan base. So it's, it's just opened up because I'm more in the soul world. So it's just kind of opened mm. up to a whole new world. But and soul it's really and EDM go great together. Yeah, that's, that's true. Kind of like, no, I love the song. Yeah. I'm really proud of it. It's yeah. just it's a little different for that's me. fun <laughs> yeah that's, i mean yeah and it's like takes it to the dance floor yes, too exactly right? i feel like my friends who like really want to dance are really excited to have a dance moment yes. for me because that's not what i'm always giving <laughs> oh but your voice can give that for sure yeah 100 percent um you speaking of songs you also have one that's like inspired by your best friend yes taddy is your friend here <laughs> oh yeah she's over there she's not she, she'll definitely not come on camera <laughs> that is 100 percent the case um in college we we look there's a line in the song that says not just because i look like you we mm. really do look alike and um in is that college, her over there that's her right there oh, okay yeah and um she <laughs> hates this and in college people used to call her pessimistic rosy because mm. i'd come in like hey guys i love the attention and she'd be like hey <laughs> so, so she's funny. not to come on camera but she's a real person <laughs> so that's the song the song is about her yeah um and then you have a new single out now yes. called flow, flow yes. right and it's got a beautiful the music, music video. video thank you yes. um yeah it's like i i'm probably i'm most proud of any video i've ever made it's mm. it's i wrote a song about my boyfriend and mm -hmm. so we did this whole video together and um i was kind of nervous i did some like movement dance stuff that i don't yeah. normally do and i like lick his face at one point i Ooh, was so scared yes. for my dad to see that i was horrified but he loved he 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 looked past the lick and he could appreciate <laughs> the art of the video um anyways it's it's my new song that uh just came out on wednesday nice. so i'm really excited that it's out gotta yeah. see the, the face lick <laughs> yeah. also like that's definitely not the worst thing that like no i know i was like i'm such a prude for no, being but I so scared it, of this it's, i know yeah it's, it's your dad it's yeah like, it's your dad. terrifying yeah. yeah no yeah so let's get to the last question okay. for you and it is our mitsubishi drive your ambition question of the night okay which is one that the twitch audience votes on amazing it's the most people want to ask you this <sighs> very important question awesome and the question i guess we sort of covered it already but here it is again what artists inspire you M there's a million more than I already said. So yeah. I mean, I did mention Fleetwood Mac, but I'm a I'm a big Fleetwood Mac fan. Joni Mitchell, I love Carol King, I love James Taylor, I love all those songwriters, and then Aretha Franklin, Bill Withers. Yes, I love, I love. Um, Beyonce till I die. I love Ariana yeah. Grande. <laughs> I love. I grew up being obsessed with Jewel. I love Bjork. Yes. I love Atlantis Morissette. I love Absolutely. Outkast. Yeah. I, I mean, it's just I. Inspiration everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Well, we are going to keep watching you. We're going to check out the music video. Yes. And hopefully you'll come back a third time and a fourth Would time to school to. night. I'm, I'll do it every week. I love it here so much. <laughs> Rocky, thank you so much. So You're much amazing. Keep thank that you. voice booming, baby. Yes. Yes. <laughs>